everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. It's a really exciting one today. We have a lot of planner face. There's a lot of foil. This is this is such a small proportion of the amount of foil that will be in this video. But we also have some really fun kits for some really niche weeks, which I'm really excited about. If you know anything about me, you'll know that if I can find a kit that's really, really, really specific to a week that I've had, I'm so happy about it. So let me tell you what's here. So first up to absolutely nobody's surprise is Planner Face. I do PR for Planner Face, so you can use my code CAT to save 10% on your orders. And if you add my name and notes to seller, you can also pick up a seasonal freebie. There are six seasonal freebies to collect each season. And you can either put in a specific number from one to six if you're looking to complete the set. Or if you don't, if you just put a PR person's name, then Anna will just put a random one in for you. So we have quite the stack today majority foil but there is some other stuff to show you as well this is this going to be the first time I show planner face foil on my channel possibly I'm so all over the place with my hauls at the moment I don't really know what I have and haven't shown so let's assume I haven't and I'll go through it in a bit more detail for you uh so because I PR for planner face I do get PR credit so some of this is that going to be honest Anna sent me a lot of this for free because she's amazing so a lot of this is gifted from her and then there will be some stuff that I purchased as well so let's just go through what it is so first up we've just got the February and March order freebies here obviously by the time you order it will be different freebies but I just like to show them because they're so cute and there's so many bunny ones um but also obviously there'll be different uh, icons in the future ones but always really cute with your order and then we have this is the spring number two freebie this color combo is everything. I would love more kits in that colour combo. If you put in a little boop to my bestie Ari or a little hello, you can get a specific Ari freebie as well. He is my absolute best. Uh, so little Ari freebie there. Then we have onto actual stuff. So let's start with doodles and scripts. So Anna gave me these. Uh, Anna was here recently for my Hendus. <laughs> so I have seen her recently and she bought a little pack of goodies for me. So here we have the most recent doodles that have been released in shop. So definitely have a look on the shop for these if you're interested. I am so excited for some of these. I don't want to spend the majority of this haul waxing lyrical about a burrito doodle, but I'm going to, right? I have been wanting more pasta and burrito other food doodles for ages and Anna has come through I am so excited so first up we have spaghetti I cannot tell you how many times I mark this kind of food and a lot of the ones I have are from other shops are either too big or the colors are really specific these will go with the majority of spreads because they're pastel love that we have the burrito so any of you who have been around for a while will know that I was obsessed with the TV doodle from Planet well as Delam always will be. The burrito doodle is the new TV doodle. I <laughs> just love it. We have these little pasta shape ones, which is just so fun. I'm so obsessed with this. And again, they'll go with the majority of spreads. Also ignore the fat ones missing. Anna was um, obviously using these for listing photos, but Oh, I'm just so happy. I love that. We've got some wine ones. We've got two different wine ones. Anna was like, you don't drink wine, so do you want them? And I was like, no, I am happy to have them because I do actually use wine doodles to mark just like when we go for work drinks and stuff. And also I feel like this could definitely be anything. Um, and I drink mocktails and stuff, so she kind of gave me those. We've got some new pizza doodles. I'm always here for more pizza doodles as um, a very, very big pizza fan. <laughs> and I love these I love how we've got like a bigger crust and a smaller crust that's really fun we've got lasagna doodles which is just incredible like because again I do have lasagna ones but they're quite big and they're a really specific colorway they don't match pastel spreads I love that we've got that top down view of the lasagna I'm so I'm so happy uh we've got these ones which are like brick doodles these were drawn by Tilly of Tilly Journals who also PRs for Anna uh again ignore the missing sticker and yeah uh Tilly drew these for Anna which is really cool they look really good so excited to have those and then Anna also gave me some sleep in scripts as well which I rarely do but I love her optimism <laughs> so love those so again these are all new releases so do check those out then I just have the toolboxes of Scotland which is uh not the latest now because Jess is just on an absolutely just a wow release schedule at the moment but this was a recent kit by Jess and I'm obsessed with it I I mean we all know I love Jess's art anyway but this 
this fashion person is one of my favorites of all time i would 100 percent wear this jumper i just this fashion person is a vibe and i obviously will be getting the kit but i haven't picked it up here because i'm kind of trying to like prioritize getting the kits i know i'm going to use sooner i'm a little bit up behind on my planner right now i won't talk about it in this video but i am a little bit behind so i thought but i would just pick this up because it kind of went i think it was to fill up my pr credit so this kind of went so i picked it up but obviously we'll be getting the full kit then we have one journaling kit, which is Blossoming, which is in, uh, again, is art by Kitnish Jess, this fashion person. This is, I don't know if you have that Barbie. She had a blue dress with flower, really like butterflies on it and you would pull a string and the dress like flared out. This is a really niche reference. Um, unless, <laughs> unless you were a Barbie girl like me. But yeah, I love this kit. Uh, oh, we've got two journaling kits. Oh, I forget that the, it's the mystery ones that are bigger. Um, so yeah, this is so fun. Very excited to use this. I use these in my uh, functional planner. This is just like a perfect spring cap. I might use this for next week, actually. I think that would be really fun. And then I also got the bookish one because, you know, I'm a book. I'm a book person. And I do have the full kit of this one. I don't have the full kit of this one. So I like to pick up journaling kits usually for art that I'm not buying necessarily the full kit of. Uh, but books. So, you yeah. know had to uh then i have the vampire kit when i ordered this anna messaged me she was like what is your plan for this and i was like oh i actually already have all the add-ons it's just i like, bought them ages ago uh so this is the vampire kit this if it's still in stock is on discount in anna's shop in last chance and stuff in last chance can be stacked with other codes just as an fyi there so you can get more money off um but this was one of the halloween sets that jess did last year and again it has a toolbox that i'm really obsessed with um, um, that I already have so this was I mean these are all kit freebies because Anna's so generous but we've got like some alternate boxes there some more boxes there another toolbox obsessed we've got the alternate skin tones of the like Dracula box the doodles and the deco and I get full kits from Anna so you've seen this format on my channel before uh, if you have watched any of my videos I love the colors it's like this purpley red so fun love that bottom washi that's so fun i've just seen more freebies in here so i'm really sorry because anna gave me the next kit when she was down here so i'm sorry that i missed that one out but yeah so that is vampire um so more freebies so we have the april order freebie 100 percent obsessed with that purple wow um and then this is the current freebie set which is the summer one so again you can tell that i like the full box one the best because i love having full boxes that i can use for spreads so that's a really fun summer one so this is the current seasonal freebie set so then we have moving day which Anna very kindly gave to me uh, after she did new release photos and this is art by Kitnish Jess and it is gorgeous I love the pastel and we're not planning to move right now but we will likely move at some point in the future so I shall be saving this kit for then because it's just vibes I love everything about it and like this on the door it's so cute. And I love that we've got like the moving list. This is actually exactly how I would write that. <laughs> it, that, that that's aesthetic is how I would write that. I love the little house rules. We do actually have a house rules poster in our house, but it's like Geordie house rules because my <laughs> fiance is from Newcastle. But yeah, I just, I love everything about this set. I think Jess has put a lot of thought into what to include here. And I love these colours. I'm a real fan of the like staple pastel colourways. And this is what this is. I'm wow i love that form washi a lot uh so what has anna thrown in here for me um so we've got oh that's such a fun double box okay cool and then we've got alternate hands there we've got alternates of the fashion person from the front page what a vibe we've got the deco and the doodles oh is she very cute um so i use c and e but it, it depends on the set as to which ones but she knows that i will typically buy the brunette and the blonde of um any fashion add-on boxes because i have brunette hair stuart has kind of goldy blonde hair but i use blonde boxes to represent him and obviously if we have kids we don't know what color hair our kids will have the irony is that i think our kids will have red hair <laughs> and then i will have all these kits that don't have the red box but anyway uh so uh, i always pick up both and anna knows that so she very kindly gave me both thanks friend um but this is so cute Th those kids look adorable this looks a lot like my friend's daughter 
Oh, so cute. And I love this, like, packing the, the glassware. And she also included the toolboxes as well. Oh, my word. And this is, like, the friend coming to, like, help moving or say hi after they've moved in with the flowers, I feel like. That's so fun. And she gave me the bottom washi as well. Oh, my word. And the box add-on. Okay. <laughs> this is so fun. Thanks, Anna. Because um, I don't usually order the box add-on, but I love that yellow pattern. So... That's so fun. And then the glitter add-on as well. So a big thank you to Anna for giving me that one. Very excited to have that. Then we have Eve Mubarak. So uh, I picked this one up because, again, this this haul oh, is so much Jess. But Jess is, <laughs> Jess is my life. Um, I love Jess art. And I love that Jess has done this. Jess put so much thought into making kits that represent different people in our community. And I love buying them. I, do I personally celebrate Eid? No. But I work somewhere where a lot of people celebrate Eid. I have friends that celebrate Eid. And I've come around to the fact that like, it is okay for me to use kits in my planner that represent other cultures in the way that I use pride kits to show my support for the community. And I want my planner to be as diverse as, as my general day-to-day -day life, which, um, you know, hopefully uh, makes sense. But yeah, so I think this kit is absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. I am not sure if I'm going to use this this year because I Eid has just been and I think it fell in a week I needed to use a different kit but I will have a look and see if I can but obviously I'll be saving this kit if not so beautiful so beautiful it really reminds me of where I work which will sound so random given that you don't know where I work but <laughs> um but yeah it just really represents the community of people that I work with so super gorgeous so we have I picked up the 15 millimeter because I love this 15 millimeter but I just thought these were both so gorgeous we've got some alternate boxes from uh page one some alternate boxes here as well so these are all freebies like all these extra boxes and what I love about Anna's kit is the amount of freebies means that you can easily make a kit last two weeks which is so fun um I've got deco doodles and the bottom washi page and then because that was like all the free stuff apart from the 50 millimeter and then i also have the kid boxes because completely obsessed completely obsessed and i know that jess has been including these kids in a few a few kits just recoloring which i love and i also picked up the tool boxes as well because obsessed and then the glitter add-on as well. Uh, so yeah, really, really, really love that kit. I, I just think Jess absolutely nailed that. And this art is just so gorgeous. Um, and really representative of the community, which I love. So thank you, Jess, for doing that. So that is Eid Mubarak. Then we have Easter Sunday. So uh, this is just gorgeous Easter art. And I what I really love about this is it's Easter, but it's also afternoon tea themed. And I love afternoon tea. <laughs> like I would go for afternoon tea every week to be honest if I could like I really really love afternoon tea and I felt that this was a really really cute option like I find a lot of Easter kits are really Eastery and I am not religious not that a lot of people are who celebrate Easter but I'm not religious and um I don't have any children right now so a, and a kind of typical Easter kit as much as I like them is not really reflective of my Easter's but this one felt like a bit more of a grown-up Easter and the afternoon tea vibes are so cute. And we spent Easter weekend with Stuart's family having afternoon tea. <laughs> so I think this kit is so gorgeous. I do need to weigh up if I'm now going to use it though because now that we've had the afternoon tea, um, we went for like a Mexican themed afternoon tea. So like I have some kits that would maybe be more appropriate for that. But also we went to the Billy Joel songbook, which is like a... A Billy Joel tribute and was amazing. I have seen Billy Joel live as well, but the the guy doing the tribute was just absolutely incredible. And so then part of me is like, oh, should I use um the thank you for the stickers kit if you know the one I mean? So I don't know. I've got some decisions to make. But either way, this kit is gorgeous and it's it's not really overly Easter themed, which I think is really cute. Um, it would also actually work for my Hindu, which was the weekend after Easter. Um, but we did like afternoon tea. <laughs> We did afternoon tea for that as well, because I just really love afternoon tea. Um, love that we've got somebody reading. <laughs> and I love the colours. They're so pastel. Love that purple and orange patterns. I just think this kit is gorgeous, to be honest. Oh, the orange glitter printed in the kit is wrong. Here are the correct boxes. Oh, Anna. <laughs> um, I, I remember this now. I don't see how these are wrong, to be honest. But 
Look, I'm not going to say no to an extra freebie. Uh, we've got alternates of the hand pouring the tea. We've got alternates for the person reading. The deco, the doodles, the bottom washi, which is stunning. That's piece of plum branding if ever I saw it. And then I did also pick up the toolbox because that's basically what I look like. Um, like I have curly hair. I often have a scrunchie on me, like so cute. So again, that's why like it would actually be a cute option for the handy weekend. So maybe I will go with this one. Yeah, maybe I will. Uh, and then this is the glitter headers as well. So that's a really, really cute set, which is Easter Sunday. And Anna actually did a an Easter an Easter egg hunt. Uh, so if you ordered during the Easter sale, you got uh, some additional things. And these stickers match that kit, which is really fun. I don't know whether I'm going to keep them together or not. I'm just covering my code there because I already know what my code is. Um, but yeah, super fun. I love that Anna did that. So last kit, I think is always you which is jess <laughs> uh jess art so jess did two colorways of this wedding art so she did this one and one that is more christmasy so i picked up this one but i will also be getting the, the christmasy one but i'll just be saving it uh and getting it but i wanted to get this one because stuart's brother is getting married in september and i'm still trying to weigh up what kit i want to use for that uh i think that this kit is going to really really match their wedding vibes so at the moment i think this is my front runner because it's just really like they're getting married outdoors it's really their vibe but i have a lot of kits that could work for it <laughs> um i have many wedding kits if you've watched my kit collection videos before because i didn't know what theme Stuart and i would have when we got married i bought every wedding kit nearly ever so i have a lot of wedding kits so we'll see but i couldn't not get this it's just so gorgeous um and like, like it has a marquee and I'm, they're having a marquee. I'm pretty sure it will be this one <laughs> that I use, but we'll see. Anyway, so that is the full boxes there. And I love that we've got like the wedding guest um, or bridesmaids, etc. Like love that. So their wedding color is sage green as, as like same as mine. Um, and so obviously this is quite a sagey green. So that also works. Like the, the color of this wedding is like pink and blue, but... It has got like the sage green vibes um so i think it would really work and it's so outdoorsy which as i say they are getting married outdoors which is very fun love that bottom washi so cute okay so then we get into all the extras so uh should we come back to the paid extras and do the uh freebies first so we've got the freebie alternates from the first page it may also depend what wedding dress sophie goes for as to what kit i use but um and then we've got the deco and the doodles so for the paid add-ons so this one i picked up these were i think there was an a b and c for this one of fashion boxes and i went for this one because it was the lighter skin tone um so like this would most reflect stuart so stuart is a groomsman um at this wedding so i got kind of got that one and also like if i use this to represent sophie it matches sophie's skin tone this is actually what sophie looks like which is really funny because obviously she won't be a guest at her own wedding but like that is actually what sophie looks like um and then i got both of the toolbox add-ons because um they were both gorgeous and again i don't know what kind of dress sophie is having like so sophie's a blonde this could definitely give sophie vibes because i feel like she would look so glam in a dress like this so yeah i don't know anyway i needed all the options okay because also if i don't use this amount on sophie's wedding who knows whose wedding i would use it for i needed all the brides <laughs> so i picked up a little bit of everything there and then i've got the glitter add-on as well so that is all the kits and then we have the foil. <laughs> I have so much foil and I'm so happy. The fact that Anna is doing foil now is just, it's amazing. It's so amazing. So I have to give the caveat that most of this was sent to me by Anna. Um, I do help Anna with stuff related to the foil, just in terms of kind of helping with ideas for designs and things like that. But she was so generous in sending this to me. So let's go through what there is because it's really exciting. So first off, we've got these spring quotes, which are, you could put them on pattern boxes. You could even just put them on bottom washi, put them on half boxes, which they're really versatile, which I love. So really fun quotes you'll be able to see these i think better than than i can in the lighting that we're currently in uh, but i've got them in hollow in rose gold in gold and in silver 
you can probably see it best in silver. I can read it best in silver. Oh, so fun. I love that. Fresh as a daisy. I love daisies. So those are the spring quotes. And Anna is considering how she will bring out more quotes. So watch this space. Then we get into some of the foil packs. So to start with, we have the OG foil pack, which is this confetti pattern. And it's like these light dainty dots. It's a really, really dainty set this one so if you want foil that is sprinkled but not overtaking a spread this is the best one to get because it's the daintiest design so what we have in the foil packs is we have the full page which the first page which has six full boxes and then it has the headers and the like little decoy bits at the bottom you get two of those you get two of the underlay pages or bougie boxes, whatever you call them. But you get two of those and then icons along the bottom. And then the bottom washi page, which has the two 50 millimeters date dots, scripts, and also has a toolbox. These fit Anna's toolboxes because Anna's toolboxes are a different size to other shop toolboxes. So just a, um, a, an, a note there, but those are perfect for Anna's toolboxes. So that's what the format looks like. So it's a five page format. It's really good value for how much you get. I love it. So I have one in silver. I have another one in silver and another one in silver. Like I do use foil every week, so I'll get through them. So those are the silver ones. Then I have it in rose gold in the same pattern. So you can see it there. So I have that rose gold one, that rose gold one. <laughs> And that rose gold one. Uh, I also have it in gold. So Anna's foil comes in the four core colours at the moment. So silver, gold, hollow and rose gold. So that is it in gold. So I've got a few of those as well. And then we have hollow. So hollow is the hardest to see. And Anna has a lot of issues with um, photographing hollow. So probably the hardest to see. But that is hollow back there. So I have a few of those as well so those are the confetti patterns really fun as i say they're the dainty option if you want a bit of a sprinkling of foil then if you're wanting something a little bit more bold we have the heart pattern so this one as you can see compared to the confetti is much stronger it's got a lot more solid pattern so it's really going to show but that is what often makes foil fun so it's in the same format but we have this box here so if i compare it to the confetti full page for you you can see the confetti one is kind of a circle whereas with this one we've got the like frame layout so really fun and you can probably really see in silver like how strong that heart pattern is which is just amazing like obviously perfect for a valentine's day spread but i think it's perfect for loads of spreads like if you're celebrating a friend or a birthday or a loved one anniversary etc would work for any of those so the same five page format so the same page there we've got the like underlay bougie boxes and then the bottom washi is strong we're hearts we love 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 and i love it so that is a silver one we have the gold one oh, look at it look at it and rose gold i love it in rose gold really like that and in hollow fun 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 so then we have what should have frankly been called the cat pattern so this is the flower pattern and this one i think is a good in between between being a little bit confetti but also the flowers are there um, because you can see it has got the confetti sprinkled out, but it's got that flower pattern. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And again, five page format. I love the deco along the bottom. So um, we've got the, and you can really, oh, just the headers, bougie boxes. And then the bottom, that flower pattern is so strong. And I am obsessed with it on the toolbox. That's maybe my favorite part of the whole of the flower foil pack. So fun. So that's it in silver. We've got it in rose gold and in gold i don't think i have this one in hollow or i've already used it <laughs> uh, i'm not sure where it is right now if i do have it i'm sure anna did send it to me but i may have put it away or, or something but anyway and that is gold so fun that is the flower one and then we have this one which is an uh a sparkle basically it's it's confetti but bigger it's stronger it's got these little stars but it's still such a fun just gorgeous pattern so that is it in rose gold i love it with the sorry there's a hair caught on it but the the stars like that bottom star the way they're falling 
oh so gorgeous so that's it in rose gold in silver oh, so it's like falling stars i love it i don't want to be dramatic but also i do and got it in gold so this one i don't have in what colors have i just shown you silver and rose gold so i don't have it in hollow as well um okay i'm sure i'm sure i have it somewhere else though but anyway so it's those so then i have um oh look it's here it's just it's just further on i have so much foil yeah it's just where i've packed it up so we have okay try and get my head around what is here so yeah i also have that um confetti one in hollow uh the the like sparkle one in hollow as well there so that's really fun um so then i have a load of bougie boxes or or, or underlays so um i currently i'll show you oh, use uh tape for my underlays but then anna released them separately so it's great so then you can get them from anna so it means that you can make foil packs last longer i typically will use a foil pack for two weeks because i don't use all of the full boxes and then I will use one of the 15 millimeter bottom washies. So then all I need is, is extra underlays. So it's perfect that Anna sells these separately because you can make your foil packs last longer. So I've got quite a few in silver because that is the color that I use the most. And so I think I did pick up an excessive amount, frankly, actually, of, um, <laughs> of silver bougie. Anna must have sent me some of these. Like, I'm sure I didn't pick up this many. Uh... <laughs> there's a lot of silver here and then i've also got a couple of hollow and a couple of rose gold as well so yeah i love how i picked up a silver when i have like a whole silver uh tape roll that's not been used <laughs> anyway fun so that is everything from planner phase apart from the february and march mysteries which i will show you at the end of this video next up we have scribble prints co so i just have a couple of bits so first up we've got the current journaling card which this was exclusive art from kittish jess and that's on the back i think the back is so cute i don't get the front as much but that's really cute and then we have some freebie foils that were thrown in so we've got these gold drink icons we've got these pink wedding ones which is fun and we've got some silver wedding ones. Those are a really usable size, actually. That was really cool. And then also a silver heart bottom washi, which I will definitely use because can't go wrong. So that's really fun. So I've got those. Then I picked up. So these are the Fam 3 boxes for the strawberry birthday kit, which I got in a D stash, I think. Um but I'm pretty sure it didn't come with these boxes. I don't think it came with the kid box. And I don't think the tool box was this person. So I just picked up these to go with that kit. Then I picked up the add-ons for Bard's Tail, which I've not picked up yet. But this was exclusive art that Jess has drawn for Andre, which is Dungeons and Dragons themed, which is amazing. And so I picked up Fan 3. So I will be picking up the kit as well. But I just picked up the add-ons before they go out of shop. Then I picked up just these Fan 3 boxes of baby mine which is art by jess which wasn't exclusive and i have this kit from anna but the one from anna doesn't include this person so i don't know if that's just because i didn't buy it at the time or if this was exclusive to uh andre or anything like that um but anyway i wanted to pick it up just so that i had this box that i could add in even though i have the kit in matte but i don't really mind about mixing matte and glossy uh, we'll come back to those because that are linked to the kit. I then have yet more of the Wally -E character stickers because I forgot I'd bought these. So I have yet more Wally. -E. And then this was a freebie. This was the $75 freebie, which is the couple with the alternate color hair. I don't know if I will use this because I like my couple boxes to look like me and Stuart. So I may get rid of those, but it's cute if you like pinky things. Um, then for the kit, I, ha I had to. This was the February mystery last year and... And I have been subscribed to the SBC Mystery at times, but the pound to the dollar right now is terrible. So I have unsubscribed, but I was so devastated when this kit came out last year and I didn't have it because I wasn't subscribed. This is one of my favorite kits of all time. It's beautiful bookish art by Dusk. And I'm so pleased that Andrea reformats Mysteries 
a year later so that I can pick them up. Not just me, obviously, but this is so gorgeous. We've got the book stack, the flat lay, the person reading, the cat, the bookshelves. This is such an aesthetic. I love it so much. So I get the mini kits from Andre because again, it's a pound to the dollar thing. So we've got a box there, which would definitely work for a quote. And there was a bookish foil bundle, uh, which I will have to find now that I uh, have this kit, uh, which was in matte bronze. And I got the book add-on so I'm hoping that that would go there well there and then we've got a close-up of those very aesthetic pink shelves page two page three which has got flat lay of is that also twice in the blue room the ivy day in the committee room I don't know what book that is um but it's got a Christina Lauren I haven't read that one but I like Christina Lauren um and we have this page and the bottom washi which I assume that's a coffee maker. Love the bottom washi. Um, and so for the add-ons, so I got the Fam 3 boxes. Vibe, vibe. Love the that the toolbox is like the legs and reading. So fun. And then, oh, no, the wrong place. And then I got the label add-on and the additional colour add-on as well. Um, the mini kits with two add-ons is not really enough stickers for me, but I have enough spares that I usually manage to make it work. Um, so that is booked. And then I also have these Grogu character stickers because Grogu is life. So then I have a couple of foil bundles. So we have this one. I would have bought these because they're on sale, I think. So this one is like a sparkly orange. It's really gorgeous. Like it's a really thick foil, like a, a very big confetti. And as I say, it's in sparkly orange, but it's like um, sparkly orange and then like a sort of burnt orange which is just yeah I really like it that's really fun uh so I don't have any other orange foil I don't think and then I also picked up this one which is a navy blue foil uh which is in the confetti format which is again a really strong color and I don't have any navy blue foil and then this one is I believe lemongrass and again, I don't have any lemongrass foil, so I thought I would get it to try because this there will be the kit that this will match, you know. There will be a kit that lemongrass is the right colour for. Um, so I picked that one up as well. It's more, maybe lemongrass is more yellowy than I expected, but it's a yellowy green. So yeah, very fun. And that is everything from Scribble Prince K. Okay, we have a new shop for me now. It's a very small order. I just got one kit because the... The kits from this shop are expensive and shipping to the UK from there is expensive, but I had to have this kit. So if you don't know, back in January, I went to see My Neighbor Totoro, the production, the stage production, and it changed my life. I, you know, I've seen a lot of shows, right? I have a musical theatre degree, I go to shows pretty often, but Totoro is on another level of amazing. It was so, the staging's amazing, the music's amazing. I don't think I'll ever have another theatrical experience like seeing Totoro. So I really, really wanted a Totoro kit. And I saw, I think it was Alicia Craft in a video uh, was showing all of her kit collection and she had one from Keytown, Keytown, but their shop is closed. So I couldn't get it from them. And I thought, oh my word, what am I gonna do? I'm never gonna be able to find a Totoro kit what am I, what will I do? And then I realized that Odd Loop had one and I'm just obsessed. It's so different to any other kit I would use. So I'm a little bit anxious about how the week's going to come out, but it's worth it for nine boxes of Totoro art. <laughs> so the paper is a premium matte and it's, it's definitely got that premium matte feel like super buttery smooth so fun. Um, so they have many formats. I only picked up four pages of the format and this still cost way more than I would ever spend on a kit normally. <laughs> that exchange rate plus Etsy fees and Etsy VAT, oh, but well, <laughs> worth it for the front pages. So I didn't pick up everything because a lot of the stuff in their kits is not stuff I will use. So I picked up page four and five because these are the most functional pages I think for me with like the boxes the glitter headers the flags and then I also picked up page seven which is the bottom washi because <laughs> yuck I love it so much so I picked that up as well and that's it so I'm gonna have to <laughs> see how this goes bring in a load of extras to do this spread but it's it's my baby Totoro so I couldn't not <laughs>
<laughs> so that is everything from oddly and then we have an order from linen designs so i have ordered from linen designs once before which i think was possibly in my last haul on my channel which was my black friday order but uh i had to get this kit and she did wait is this did i not pick up okay what i have another order from linen which i think is sat in my uh is sat in stack crew right now which is the princess art because i'm pretty sure that Lina for a shop anniversary had like a 30 percent off or something like that so this one i must have picked up separately for another reason maybe just because i was like i needed this kit um and then she did a shop sale or something like that but anyway i'm pretty sure that's the case i don't think it's that i've lost some stuff um so this is the march freebie very cute little otters and elephants doing cute things. And then also I've got Jen Joy Plans' uh, script freebie because I do watch Jen's YouTube videos. And I think Jen has a really usable freebie. Um, then the Jen Lynn card is this one, which is the exclusive princess art that Nella drew for um, Lina Designs. So uh, yeah, as I say, I have picked up that kit now. It's, I'm pretty sure it's in Zachary. Um, and that's just the back. And then this is, this is the kit I got. So I just want to clarify something that's going to be really confusing for you. I'm not planning to use this as a St. Patrick's spread. Um, I didn't do a St. Patrick's spread this year. I don't think I picked a kit. My kit lineup albums, um, oh no, it is right there, but I won't go through it. But I am pretty sure that I'm not doing a St. Patrick's spread this year. Um, but, and you'll be like, but Kat, that kit is obviously called Lucky. I hear you. Um, obviously I could save it for future St. Patrick's years, but I have a more perfect reason to use this kit. And I love it when I can use a kit for a really, really, really specific week. So Stuart Stagdu is going to be in Belfast and the um fashion boxes say if lost or drunk please return to my wife and then this one says his wife it's so perfect right i'm so excited i'm so excited when i told stuart about this he was like but i'm not gonna get so lost or drunk i need to be returned to you <laughs> and i was like stuart you have to understand that this is like the closest we could have gotten to the perfect kit for your stag do um so i'm so happy with it i'm so happy with it um so i'm not going on his stag or anything but i just i have to use this kit for that week and i love 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 this fashion person like one of my favorites of all time this fashion person um obviously it's in the toolbox here as well so i'll have to decide if i use the toolbox or not i don't love when toolboxes are a lot bigger than the other fashion people in a kit that's not reflective of this shop it's like all shops do that i'm sure it's a perspective thing um so i don't know if i will use the toolboxes or just use because obviously this one looks more like me because i have dark hair but i possibly prefer this person in blonde um but we'll see but i will definitely use this one for me and i will use this one for Stuart um it doesn't really look like him but it doesn't not look like him at the same time um so yeah so obviously the kit is really st patrick's -y. it's a lot of like lucky charms and but it's really irish you know um i don't love this pattern to be honest um and actually the kit is it is in my opinion too bright and <laughs> it is a bit much uh but it, the the fashion boxes are so perfect that I could or not. Um, so I may take a few bits out to tone it down, potentially. Um, we'll see. But I just, I couldn't not get it, you know. Um, and then I did pick up the 50 millimeter as well because, A, I love yellow. Um, but also, as I say, I don't like that pattern. But using the yellow is going to really change the kit. And actually, I don't know that I want to use the yellow now I've seen it. I actually think this one would probably go better. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, I have it as an option. And then obviously, you've already seen the fan boxes. So I love that. I love that uh, Lino Designs just knew that what I needed was an Irish kit that had, if lost or drunk, please return to my wife. Um, I'm just really happy about this and I love it when I can use really perfect kits and the fact that I can look back on this kit for the rest of my life as like oh that was just that dude 
I just think it's so fun. Um, so that is everything from Linen Designs. And that is everything apart from the Planner Face Mysteries. So if you don't want to see the Planner Face Mysteries, please click away now. Uh, but otherwise, I'll show you. We'll do February and March. So I don't have that April one yet. Um, so let's start with February. Um, this is one of my favourites of all time. I'm pre preparing you now for an excessive amount of gushing, okay? Um, so if you don't want to be spoiled, this is your last warning. But otherwise, I will show you the kit in three, two, one. We did the London kit. <sighs> okay, so Anna and I have talked about doing a London kit for so long. So, okay, if you don't know, I do help Anna with the Planner Face Mystery. I help come up with themes, mood boards, preparing lists for artists, all that kind of stuff. So I do get the mystery gifted for free. And we've been talking about doing a London kit for such a long time. And we could never really figure out how we wanted to do it. And then it was one of those moments where the board just came together and I am so happy with it. People have loved this one, which is, you know, thank you. Um, but also we use a different artist for each mystery. So we kind of rotate around with different artists. And this artist hasn't drawn for us for a while, um, but she's back. And she was the right artist to do this kit. Like sometimes there are certain kits where Anna and I will give them to, well, in fact, us all the, all the kits we give the set to the artist that will best draw for that theme. And this artist was the best artist for this theme. It was just the one we knew that she would get the vibe, she would capture it in the way we wanted. And it, I, it's, it's amazing. This kit is amazing. Um, so um, we have the die cut for this one is this cute little corgi. Um, and then this is the kit. So we have this like um, of the... the uh, what the south bank i was like oh my brain is shutting down of the south bank with the big ben we've got like your london bag all packed the like underground tube map flat layer of food corgi we've got um trafalgar square is that trafalgar square i don't know anyway um L london geography is actually not my best ironically i live like half an hour from london which means i've never done the touristy things um but yeah i love it and obviously we've kind of got those like typical british colors but with the pink thrown in there really changes the vibe and it's like the sky is like that kind of sunset sky we've got these really cute buildings i did not know what these were and i chose them um but really cute so i do get the full format that anna sends me because obviously this is the format that i use normally such fun patterns love the bottom washi like that's so like um burberry the the like fashion brand but like with lo like london colors thrown in um and then there's there's a lot of extras so with the mystery you get all of these included so we've got these two hands, it's like, I don't know how well you can see, but that's a Union Jack on that nail. Incredible. So two skin tones of that, and that's outside Borough Market, I think. Uh, we've got these two toolboxes, which I love both of these fashion people just so much. Um, and then we've got alternate skin tones. Oh, oh it's Carnaby Street, not Borough Market. Um, but I love how Anna has put the, the fashion people in front of four different like parts of this, the set so that if you wanted to use more of the boxes you can or when you use the kit again, it does give some difference. So I love that. I would a million percent wear both of these outfits as well. So I really love that. This kit is so fun. Uh, we've got the deco and the doodles. We've got the 15 millimeter, which is that like mm, sunset sky. We've got the box add-on and the glitter add-on. And then we have the mystery page, which is specific to the mystery kits, which has this gorgeous Carnaby Street scene. Uh, and then we've got all the normal mystery functionals. It is so funny to me how there are months where I will feel we've peaked with the mystery and then we'll just further smash it. <laughs> but yeah, that's, as I say, if someone was to ask me like what my top, top, top tier mysteries are, London would be in there. Um, so that is the full kit. And then I also get the journaling kit as well because Anna's amazing and sends me the journaling kit. So uh, again, it does mean I get two of the little, little corgi die cuts. And then this is the journaling kit, which is stunning. So the mystery journaling kits are four pages, which is incredible. Having planned with both, uh, I love planning with the four page ones. So we've got loads of flowers, loads of really cute, big deco. I love this page. This is a page I use a lot when I do my spreads. And... 
not that good. The corky's just so happy. <laughs> um and then this page is a washi paper it's not normal paper um just to give a really fun like difference and it's got like you know scrap paper and stuff so really fun so that is the february mystery um and so lastly i will show you the march mystery so again if you do not want to be spoiled love you bye but otherwise oh knocking things over um but otherwise i will spoil the kit for you in three two one <sighs> okay so this one on the opposite of London is a theme that on a personal level, I don't care about, right? I don't garden and I will never garden. I, it's just not something, I don't like bugs. And like, when I say I don't like them, it's like, it, I, I'm terrified of them. So, you know, it's, it isn't, it's not something I really think I will ever get into. Um, so when we got a lot of requests though, so we did in May, 2021, I think, or 2022, uh, we did a plant kit, which was one of our most popular mysteries. I loved that. I It's one of my favourite spreads. Um, and I don't even own any real life plants. I had two succulents that died. You know, I'm not a plant person. Um, but Anna really is. And so are a lot of the planning community. There's an awful lot of crossover between plant lovers and planner people. And we had a lot of requests to do another plant kit, but Anna didn't want to replicate what we'd already done. So this one is all Anna's brainchild. Like I contributed very little to this one. Um, but this one is, as you can see, it's greenhouse themed. So it's not, it's, it isn't a repeat of the plant one because the plant one was all like internal, like looking after house plants. Basically, obviously this one is outdoors. It's greenhouse. So it's really cute but it's a really cute vibe like uh it's Nella who drew this one and Nella's done an amazing job at capturing the fashion people and the greenhouse like it's so cute and this colorway is one of my favorite colorways ever uh so I really love this so I will definitely use it um even though I don't garden um but you could totally use this for going to a garden center which again I would never go to buy plants but like I'd go for cake you know um but also I would maybe use this in honor of my nan uh my nan um was a really avid gardener so I would maybe use this in honor of her um we lost her 10 years ago on Monday from when I'm filming this which is like mind-blowing to have been that long without my nan but um yeah so yeah maybe for her or you know maybe for Anna who loves gardening so anyway but this kit is just so cute um and like this is is one of my favorite boxes I think this is my favorite box in the kit um because it's just I love how like all those bits are just on the chair it's just so cute uh we've got some different seeds we've got the like plant sa uh, station uh, th this pinky purple is beautiful and with the orange and the green and the cream I love it so much um and then the the bottom washi is so fun with like the green um uh bushes my, my brain is shutting down i'm getting my arm caught on um, a uh cello so the die cut for this one is this really cute like veg patch we've got the alternate skin tone of the seed box i love this um with the herbs alternates of the curly hair oh, such a vibe alternates of the other fashion box deco and doodles the 50 millimeter which very much makes sense as like a wood pattern we've got another fashion person in the toolbox which is somebody like working on their planting but from top down which is so fun and i want that purple jumper and those green trousers uh we've got the box add-on the glitter add-on and then we've got the mystery specific page which has this gorgeous uh like allotment scene so really 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 fun uh i love that one and so then i obviously as i say get the journaling one sent to me as well so it's the same die cut and then we've got oh, just happy smiley greenhouse work you know so yeah so fun so the chances of me saving the full kit for a long time are really high um but this one um i will use maybe i'll use this one actually instead of blossoming for the week coming up because of my nan that would be really cute, actually. I'll use them for that. Um, but yeah, and I love the the scrapbooking of the pages there. So it's so cute. So um, that is the mystery. So if you want to subscribe to the mystery, it's open from the 25th to the 1st uh, every month. And then it ships in the middle of the following month. So 
from when I'm filming this, uh, the next one, hopefully, if I get this edited in time, will be the May mystery. So spots will open on the 25th of April and close on the 1st of May. Uh, we have some really exciting themes. I know I always say that, but Anna and I put a lot of work into the mystery. We try to incorporate themes we think people will enjoy, but also just covering a range of things. Um, we have a very, very exciting mystery coming later this year, but obviously all of them are exciting, but one particular one. Um, but yeah, so if you want to subscribe, check out the Plan Face website during that window. Anna does put up a sneak every 25th of the month as well. So you can see what's coming up. So if you would rather just buy one off for ones you think you'll like, you can do that or you can rolling subscribe for cheaper. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. So that is me done. I'm gonna film my outro. Hey everyone, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I will link to all of these shops in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe. In the description, I will have a link to my Instagram and my Goodreads if you want to check out any more content from me. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.